Hi booze. So this is going to be a talk through video so I know it's going to be a little long but if you're interested in seeing um, how I kind of put my makeup together today and listening to me chit chat then just keep watching. So I'm going to start off by cleansing my face and I'm going to be using my Garnier um, cleansing water and before anyone says anything I know my eyes look crazy. I really didn't want to film this look with these contacts in but since I put them in I was like okay whatever and I'm just going to take a large cotton pad to just cleanse my face because you always want to start off with a clean face okay so I'm also going to be adding my Burt's Bees toner to my face as well alright so now I'm going to spray the Tatcha Mist this is going to really just be my moisturizer. Now I'm going to go in with my primer, which is the Nivea, the Nivea Men Post Shave Balm. I'm going to go ahead and put about this much. So this gets really tacky. I really like it. Um, this is definitely something that I'm going to take with me forever and ever. The bottle quality is amazing and it smells good to me because I love the smell of a man. But it doesn't do anything for your pores so I do add my Becca to my T-zone area where I actually only use it on my nose. So that's it for the face and all that priming and whatnot. So I'm going to go in and do my brows. Um, now, I just got my brows done today, so they're looking pretty perfect already. I just like to make sure that they are filled in. So, just going to go ahead and spoolie this. And I'm using my Anastasia Brow Wiz. I'm thinking about getting the other um, Anastasia, the new one that's like thicker. I'm definitely going to get that actually meant to get that when I went to the mall today but I forgot as you can see I really just add where there's like a sparse area and I like to make sure that it's pointed at the end and I'm going to go ahead and conceal under my brows my face is getting like super tight right now so I'm gonna go ahead and just conceal underneath my brow I did say I was just using this con to conceal under my brows, but why not do the entire process? Alright, so now that I've primed and everything and done my brows, I'm going to go ahead and start with my eyes. I'm going to be using the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot, and I'm just going to put that all over the lid. So I'm going to be setting this with my Laura Mercier setting powder. I'm just going to use this brush and it doesn't matter about fallout because we don't have foundation on well, now that that's done I'm going to be using my Nubian palette this is what it looks like just absolutely gorgeous I'm gonna use this top shade for my crease color so I'm gonna go back in with this brush just to Make sure that I blend that out. I was just at Walmart and I saw this foundation and I was like, hmm, let's give it a try. I really don't think this is my shade to be completely honest, but it is about $9 I want to say at Walmart. So maybe I'm sure it's like very expensive at Walgreens or something like that. But we're going to try it out. This is the Maybelline Dream Velvet Soft Matte hydrating foundation in the shade 95 which is coconut now it comes sealed it had like a little silver thing there I did test the color out once I got home honestly I don't think it's gonna match me but we're gonna go ahead and get started what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place it on the back of my hand first okay this is how it looks oh yeah it's gonna be way too dark for me Let's go ahead, and it's moussey. Ooh. Anyway, this is how it looks. Yeah, it's definitely dark. I'm so I'm so scared, but for the sake of this video, we're gonna go ahead and apply it. Oh no. 
Okay, it doesn't look that bad, I don't think. Let's see. Definitely moussey. It's, it's definitely a thicker foundation. It's not, it's not like a foundation you won't feel on your face because you can definitely feel this on your face. I'm going to be using the Morphe M439 brush. And I'm just going to buff this into my skin. Oh, okay. Well, I think it actually fits my skin tone to a certain extent. Um... I don't know, it's not that bad. It is dark, but it's really not that bad. Feeling this foundation, I feel exactly what they're referring to when they say velvet matte. Um, it's very weird. It's a weird texture. It's not it's like no other. I don't I don't know how to explain it. I'm just gonna bring that down on my neck, go ahead and dust over my ears. But, here is the foundation. I actually don't think it's that bad. Like, I, I don't feel much on my face, to be completely honest. I don't feel anything on my face. But, um, it feels actually really good. Oh,